desperate, a popular place for people to get outside for some fresh air. And it's where police say Matthew Corey attacked a woman in her 60s on Friday after she stopped to rest on a log. According to probable cause documents, that's when the terrified woman felt a stranger's hands gripping around her neck. The victim said she managed to loosen his grip and scream loud enough that he ran off. Police found Corey running through the woods and the woman positively ID'd him. He told investigators he'd been doing meth for two weeks, hadn't slept in seven days, and didn't remember attacking the woman. Now back in custody, this latest arrest adds to Corey's criminal record, which shows 11 arrests, seven felony convictions, and two misdemeanors. Records show Corey has been in and out of prison several times. When he was given early release this month, he'd been serving time for unlawful possession of a firearm. Corey is one of approximately 1,000 Washington inmates released up to six months early because of COVID-19. DOC officials say 10 days after his May 2nd release, Corey removed his ankle monitor, so officials lost track of him. Though it's an isolated case, law enforcement sources tell Q13 News a handful of these inmates have gone off the grid and disappeared. It's the kind of crime that some law enforcement cautioned would happen. They're in there for a reason. They committed a crime. And now because we're in this crisis, we're going to release individuals who want to just want to get out. Meanwhile, social justice activists and loved ones of inmates pushed for early release, saying keeping so many behind bars posed a huge safety risk to inmates. These are human beings. They have families. They have kids. But what's happened in this case is arguably what no one on either side of the issue wanted to happen. No one we reached out to was willing to give us an interview, but Governor Inslee's office sent us a statement that reads in part, the decision to release individuals from DOC was based on weighing the risk to incarcerated individuals and public safety. We focused on those individuals who were incarcerated for less serious crimes. This group was chose to reduce the risk to public safety, but no choice could be made to guarantee that there would never be a new crime committed. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News. Well, the governor's office responded today saying, quote, the decision to release individuals from DOC was based on weighing the risk to incarcerated individuals and public safety. These were extremely difficult choices to make, but they were necessary in order to meet our obligations to allow for minimal social distancing. This group was chosen to reduce the risk to public safety, but no choice could be made to guarantee that there would ever or never rather be a new crime committed. News tonight, there are small signs that